if you fight Tito to four days before the fight. I was supposed to fight Marvin Eastman on the first fight of the prelim and four days after I was uh, on the main event of the UFC 50 on my first fight in the UFC against a guy who were on my screensaver. You know, I say it a lot of time, but that's the truth. This fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. The good thing about that, that was on short notice, I didn't get, I didn't have time to get nervous. You know, I just blinked and I was in the, in the cage again, against, against Ortiz, was on the other side. And uh, you know, it, 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 what, it happened very, very, very fast. But uh, you know, this is, uh, this, that was a great opportunity for us and uh, we couldn't say no. Any questions from the red corner? Touch gloves, come out fighting. Yeah, the feeling, the, yeah, I was nervous. The feeling for sure, again, I was fighting Tito. Tito was still the poster boy at this time, was still on top. And uh, you know, I wasn't supposed to be there. I was supposed to fight on the prelim of the fight, like maybe four, four hours before. But uh, like I said, that was a great opportunity and uh, we were pretty confident to go there and uh, did, doing a good performance. Uh, you know, I received maybe 300, 300 elbows in my face, but at the end I was still on my feet. Tito's trying to work the ground and pound. Another vicious elbow. Oh, that was a good one. Connected with that one. What I was happy about this, this performance, it's, uh, I think I made my name. Uh, this is the worst thing happened to a fighter. You don't want any guys who made his, his name under your name. But I think uh, this is the best thing happened to me in this fight by, by losing like that. I'm not, I don't, you know, in the first round I, I rocked him. But, you know, winning this fight at this time, it, it's not, was, was not a great idea. You know, it was not a great, great thing. I think I did exactly, I, I wanted one at the win for sure. but. I think this is the best thing happened to me that losing this fight like that by decision and I was able to make my name. For the winner by unanimous decision, the Huntington Beach Bad Boy. That was my first loss in my career, my professional career. So, uh, uh, but at the same time, I felt sad, but at the same time, I was like, man, I just fucked the Ortiz on the main event of my first UFC. So uh, that was kind of mixed feeling and uh, Tito came to me uh, in the locker room and said, man, you have a big heart, but you are, you are in the wrong way class. I said, yeah, you bet. And, uh, but you know, at, the end, uh, at the end of the night, uh, I was, I was uh, pretty bumped up uh, <laughs> my face, but I was happy ab about it. You know, I think, uh, you know, like I said, I made, I made my name with this fight. Knocking somebody out, it's, uh, you feel like the most powerful guy in the world for, uh, for 30 seconds. It's, uh, it's amazing, especially against uh, Drew McFedries because McFedries is the guy who, who, who hit me the, the, the hardest in, in my career. That's funny to say that because five seconds after, I, I knocked him out. But uh, when he, he gave me the, the uppercut, I, I opened my eyes after that. I was like, okay, cool, I'm still there. I'm still in the fight. And after that, I was able to... to to put my punch in his face, but uh, yeah, that was uh, that was a big fight for me against uh, against McFerdries because he had a great, a, a strong reputation at this time. Yeah, he looks like that at, at this time in the Militich camp. Nobody wanted to spar with him because he was knocking knocking everybody out. So that was a great, uh, great feeling. Against Ricardo Almeida, that was uh, the fight I was the most nervous of the, in my entire career. You know, still today. Uh, because the last loss I had before that, that was against Travis Luther, exactly the same kind of fighter. Almeida was, uh, was very close to have a title fight, and I knew it that that will be probably the, the number one spot to, to fight uh, Silva. The winner will have the, the number one spot. Uh, but we went there, and I think, you know, I lost the first round. I was able to make some adjustment, and that wasn't the, the most spectacular fight in, in my career, but for me, this is the most important win of my career. Dana White announced that I will be uh, the, the next one to fight uh, Silva, and I learned that Silva wanted to fight me, and not uh, Almeida, because he, he said that this guy's not gonna, not gonna back it up, and he's gonna go in my face, gonna exchange, wanted to change with me, so. Uh, maybe that's that's why I got the, I got the fight, but uh, yeah, when you said that Cote is next on the line, I was like, man, I did it. <laughs>
against Anderson Silva, we were in Chicago, and uh, on the fight day, I became very emotional in the in the, in the hotel room before leaving because I was just realizing that, and this is this is what I wanted to do it since the first day I started to train MMA, and I got got the title fighting. As soon as we arrived at the at the venue, that was a happy time. I was I was joking around. I was I was so comfortable, and uh, you know I wasn't nervous at all. I'm gonna keep this fight nice and clean. Dutch gloves, let's make it official. Uh, against Anderson Silva, I think I, I did a, a great performance with the skills I had at this time. Uh, the first thing I wanted to do is not showing him that I was I was scared of him. I wasn't scared of him. You know, in my head I was like, man, knock me out, I don't care, I don't, I'm not going to remember anyway. <laughs> so I just wanted to push the pace and not, uh, uh, and not showing him that he has a hedge on over me. It's so hard to, uh, to, to hit him. You know, every time I would try to go forward, he was on my back. I tried to go on the side, he was on the other side. He's, he's, he's never there when you try to punch him. As soon as he start to open up a little bit, you saw it. My, you know, I'm lucky that I have a good chin. I was pretty happy. I was the first first guy in the UFC to put uh, Silva in the third round. So at the end, you know, that was uh, you know the end wasn't uh, was uh, what I was expected. But for the first two rounds, I was pretty happy about the performance. Tough Nation was uh, an amazing experience. They asked me to do it again. I'll do it. That was that was great. Uh, it's very different, you know. I was in this season as a contestant in Tough Four, in Tough Nation. I was the coach, and uh, it's a lot more work to coach than just to be a contestant. You have to adjust yourself to everybody in, in your team. You have to put the training together. You have to coach them. You have to, you know, do some strategy and all those things. But it's a fun job. Just be careful, okay? Yeah. Because they're very aggressive in the first in the first minute. So mm -hmm. just be ready right away. Yeah. I don't want to shake your hands. Go, guys. I hate losing to Kote, especially because I have to fight the guy. I f***ing hate losing. I don't know about you guys. I f***ing hate it. There wasn't any beef between me, me and No. I think he was a little bit frustrated at the final because we almost sweep the season. And uh, that's why, you know, at the, at the stare down at the win, that was, that was a little bit intense. But during the season, that, was, uh, that wasn't any beef. The fight against Nog, the, the one, uh, the thing uh, I was very happy about it, that I was able to show my improving about my all game, about my wrestling, about my ground game, and uh, you know everybody knows that you know I have a good skills on my feet, I have power in my hands, but when it, when everybody knows that, all the fighters know that too. So I have to put more tools in uh, in my games, and uh, I was able to show that in the fight. Yellow trunks for Cote, white trunks for the southpaw, Joe Riggs. Joe Riggs and I were supposed to fight 10 years ago in, uh, in the TKO in uh, 2005 and uh, you know <laughs> that, that was kind of crazy because we saw each other and they, uh, at the hotel and uh, we said exactly the same thing. We said like, hey, 10 years later, man, we were going to finally fight each other. But for me, I, that was, uh, it's always fun to fight in Montreal. I have a good fan base over there. I, I really feel the support. It's cr the crowd is loud. It's it's crazy. It's very very fun to, to, to fight over there. And it's not putting me a more uh, more pressure on me. It's it's giving me more uh, a drive to, to, to perform well. And uh, once again, I was able to show more about the about the skills that I'm working. On. Top of those are big punches. Joe Riggs came to me and he said, so you're a wrestler now. I said, well, maybe, well, <laughs> maybe because I was able to take him down and, uh, you know, doing a good thing on, on the ground uh, against him. So, but like I said, you know, I'm, I'm improving my game every day and, uh, you know, I'm very confident about my hands, about my stand-up skills, but uh, I have to put more tools in my game. That's what I did. You know, the best scenario is I still fight four times in the UFC, so I will become, become the, the, the Canadian with the most UFC fight in the history. So that, that can be cool. But, uh, you know, if I fight four times uh, more and I still uh, and I have four wins, hey, maybe I'm going to have a title fight and, you know, maybe I'm going to be a champion one day. I want people to remember me in, in the mixed martial arts business about uh, I always give my best, always be well prepared, never miss weight. And uh, you know, try to give back uh, to the, all the fans that support me by uh, doing uh, doing great performance.